My name is um, Alexander Tsutsarov, and I'm a minister uh, in Russia. I live there. I've lived there my whole life. Um, and I run the uh, Moscow Evangelical Christian Seminary, which is a school of learning uh, for ministers from all over the uh, former Soviet Union. Um, I used to work for the KGB, um, and then I accepted Jesus Christ in 1990. So in 1991, we planted a church. And we could have probably planted another church and maybe yet another church in my lifespan, but instead, we planted the Moscow Seminary in the year of 1993 to replenish the lost by the way of multiplication. Well, when I say uh, to replenish the lost, this is the call uh, that the Lord placed into my heart. Uh, the KGB executed 200,000 uh, ministers in Russia over the span of um, the 70 years of communist captivity and uh, demolished 40,000 churches. And that's what I owe to Russia. I owe 200,000 ministers to be trained and the 40,000 churches to be planted. And the only way that I know of doing that would be through a seminary like the Moscow Seminary, by the way of multiplication. Now, uh, it is a purely Russian um, adventure. Everybody on the staff and on the faculty is a Russian, so it is not considered to be a threat uh, in the eyes of the government of Russia. Uh, and um, it is important to do it from within Russia. It costs me 1200 uh, dollars a year to train a minister in Russia. Well, consider how much it costs for you to send your kid to a college in the States these days. I mean, you're easily looking at 40 times more. Uh, but the problem that I have with the idea of sending my students to a seminary in the States is, guess what? They don't come back. In fact, out of 10 sent to a seminary in the States, only one will come back. So you lose your uh, investment altogether. And um, of course, there is a good reason in investing uh, into a Russian student, because uh, the Russian student knows the Russian language uh, and uh, knows the Russian culture. And that way, the student has a great advantage over a uh, foreign missionary who needs to go there and learn the language, uh, learn the culture, etc. And so the Russian student, if trained, would stay in country even if the Iron Curtain comes back. So uh, with all this consideration in mind, I want you to invest uh, um, into um, Seoul uh, in Russia to produce a minister for Russia who would then go uh, to all these 11 time zones of Russia and plant a church on your behalf. It costs $1,200 a year uh, for me to do that, and it's uh, at least 40 times uh, less expensive than sending somebody to the States. It is at least 80 times less expensive than sending a missionary to Russia and so you get the greatest uh, bang on your buck. Uh, 